As a country boy from Bunky, Louisiana, there's no way I would be in the sciences were it not for my mentors along the way. Uh, he was highly motivated to be just like, just like him. You can see their life story and understand that, you know, they had obstacles, but if you persevere, you're going to be able to do the same great things. Everyone needs a mentor, someone to guide them through life's challenges, provide encouragement, and open them up to new possibilities. It's especially true for minorities in the sciences, where underrepresentation has remained a problem for decades. In honor of Black History Month, the American Chemical Society and Nobuche want to salute just some of the mentors that have nurtured the careers of thousands of students. I've uh, really dedicated my life to mentoring uh, young people into the sciences. Professor Isaiah Warner is head of the chemistry department at Louisiana State University. The school graduates the highest number of African-American PhD chemists in the country a great achievement for a department head who once didn't know what that was. Warner recalls his undergraduate mentor, Professor Vanden White, talking to him after his freshman year. Mr. Warner, you'll have your PhD before you're 30 years old. And I responded, uh, Dr. White, what's a PhD? I mean, that's how important a mentor was for me. Warner's PhD students now travel to local middle schools to inspire young people to pursue the sciences. I am not satisfied unless I am helping and bringing other people along. Warner has spent the last 22 years at LSU, a school that ironically wouldn't have admitted him when he graduated high school in 1964. And I knew that as a black you couldn't be a scientist. Chemist John Carter also overcame the specter of racism with the help of a mentor who had himself faced similar obstacles. Carter graduated second in his class at Catholic University, but couldn't get letters of recommendation for graduate school. Howard University professor Leon Cherchevsky, a Russian Jew, reached out to him. He said, oh, you went to Catholic U. Yes. I said, yes. He said, I know them. They didn't want me to come here to teach. I know what the problem was with you. Cherchevsky got Carter a fellowship at Howard that week. Carter later recalls complaining with fellow students about the lack of job prospects because of discrimination. And Professor Cherchevsky says, Oh, I know about this, and I know there are no jobs for you, but you do the chemistry because you love the chemistry. That same story I, I tell when I go out and give motivational talks to young black Americans. Hampton University sophomore Courtney Edwards didn't need a professor to be her mentor. She already had a big sister. Edwards watched her sister progress through college and into a career in the sciences. I really got to see her, you know, she got to go to conferences, doing research and things, and it never seemed like anything hard to her. So I was like, if she can do it, surely I can do it. And she's always been especially encouraging. Rena Blade, a senior at Hampton, didn't have a family mentor, but says she wants to be an example for others. I wasn't really raised to become a scientist, but like now I just feel like I'm just kind of like a, I don't know, a poster child, I guess, for those that are underrepresented, underrepresented in the sciences. Both Edwards and Blade study under Professor Isai Yurasa, the head of Hampton's chemistry department for more than 30 years. Yurasa says he's given the same advice to all of his graduates at all levels. Now go forth and use the knowledge that we have helped you to acquire. A diploma is, yes, can be just a piece of uh, paper, but uh, the question is, uh, what do you do with what that diploma represents? For all of the professors we spoke to, their diploma represents a responsibility to the young people who will one day take their place. I jumped through a, a number of hoops and windows and obstacles to get here. And uh, that is the one reason that I indicate that I mentor other people because without that mentoring, I wouldn't be here. And it seems the next generation is up to the task. I think it's really important for young African-American children, especially females, to see someone, to have a role model in this um, field so that they can look up to them and say, I want to be just like them when I grow up. The American Chemical Society would like to thank all of the participants in this series, as well as our partners at Nobuche for making it possible. Feel free to subscribe to see more from ACS.